but go not. In England once there lived a big and wonderfully clever pig. To everybody it was plain that piggy did have a massive brain. He worked out sums inside his head. There was no book he hadn't read. He knew what made an aeroplane fly. He knew how engines work and why. He knew all this, but in the end, one question drove him round the bend. He simply couldn't puzzle out what life is really all about. What was the reason for his birth? Why was he placed upon this earth? His giant brain went round and round. Alas, no answer could be found. Till suddenly, one wondrous night, all in a flash, he saw the light. He jumped up like a ballet dancer and yelled, By God, I've got the answer. They want my bacon sliced by slice to sell at a tremendous price. They want my tender, juicy chops to put in all the butcher shops. They want my pork to make a roast, and that's the part will cost the most. They want my sausages in strings. They even want my chitterlings. The butcher shop, the carving knife, this is the reason for my life. Such sorts of these are not designed to give a pig great peace of mind. Next morning, in comes Farmer Blank. Pig swirl in his hand. And Piggy, with a mighty roar, bashes the farmer to the floor. Now comes the war of the grizzly bit, so let's not make too much of it, except that you must understand that Piggy did eat Farmer Bland. He ate him up from head to toe, chewing the pieces nice and slow. It took an hour to his <coughs> feet, because there was so much to eat. And after this, of course, Pig felt absolutely no remorse. Slowly, he scratched his brainy head, and with a little smile, he said, I had a fairly powerful hunch that he might eat me for his lunch, and so, because I feared the worst, I thought I'd better eat.